The year is 1973. Billie Jean King has just been named the number one player in tennis. Bobby Riggs watches on TV as Billie Jean receives a phone call from Richard Nixon, one of her most famous fans. Billie Jean is at a dance with her husband Larry, when her manager Gladys Heldman walks in angrily with a letter from Jack Kramer. Billie Jean and Gladys confront Jack because he and others are trying to keep female tennis players out of the Pacific Southwest Open, as they feel the sport attracts more viewers than male players. Billie Jean decides she and Gladys will hold a tournament for female players. Bobby is having dinner with his wife Priscilla and son, Bobby Jr. Jr. bets a dollar on Bobby over a match, but Priscilla is very much against gambling, which she knows is one of Bobby's vices. Billie Jean and her fellow players, are in the middle of a photoshoot in honor of the $1 contracts they signed for Gladys's tour. When Jack shows up to inform Billie Jean that if she plans to boycott Jack's tennis association with her own tournament, she and the other female players would be kicked out of the U.S. Lawn Tennis Association. Billie Jean accepts the ultimatum and tells the ladies they got kicked out. Bobby and his own tennis buddies are out gambling, and Bobby wins a Rolls Royce. He brings it home to find Junior excited, but Priscilla is very much displeased to the point where she kicks Bobby out. Gladys's players start a tour with Virginia Slim Cigarettes sponsoring them, and they go out to get their hair done at a salon. Billie Jean meets her hairdresser, Marilyn Barnett, and it's clear that Billie Jean finds herself attracted to Marilyn. She cuts Billie Jean's hair to a shorter length which she likes. Bobby is forced to attend a support group for gamblers. He takes over the session and convinces the other attendees that they are terrible gamblers and that their losses brought them there. Bobby proceeds to get others involved in his gambling antics. While on tour in San Diego, Billie Jean is joined by Marilyn. After spending the night at a nightclub, they return to Billie Jean's hotel room, kissing and making love. Later that night, Bobby calls Billie Jean after trying every hotel in the area. He proposes a challenge to her in which they play a tennis match for $100,000, touting the male chauvinist pig versus the hairy-legged feminist. Billie Jean declines the challenge and hangs up on Bobby. Bobby then tries challenging another player, Margaret Court, who knows what's happening between Billie Jean and Marilyn. She knows Billie Jean's sponsors would pull out if they found out she was in a relationship with another woman. Margaret accepts Bobby's offer should she beat Billie Jean in an upcoming match. Larry goes to the hotel to meet up with Billie Jean. He meets Marilyn in the elevator holding a bucket of ice, unaware of each other's relation to Billie Jean. They both end up walking to Billie Jean's room, with Larry insinuating the ice bucket is for her knees. Marilyn lies and says it is before leaving. Larry enters the room, finds Marilyn's bra, and pieces it together. He decides to stay at another hotel. He runs into Marilyn again outside, telling her that the two of them are just sideshows for Billie Jean since her true love is tennis, and if word got out over her and Marilyn, it would ruin her career. The next day, Billie Jean faces Margaret in a match. She is clearly off her game after what happened with Larry, and she loses the game. Margaret goes to the locker room to throw salt in the wound by saying she has nothing to hide. Bobby and Margaret play their match, with Billie Jean, Gladys and the other ladies watching on a TV screen. Bobby defeats Margaret in a big upset, later referred to as the Mother's Day Massacre, and he gloats about his victory. Seeing this as an insult to women, Billie Jean takes Bobby up on his challenge to shut him up for good. In the weeks leading up to the big match, Bobby does countless interviews and shoots to promote the chauvinist persona and gain more publicity. He spends time with his fellow tennis player. He later coaches Lorne Kula and a vitamin salesman named Rio Blair, who puts Bobby on a regimen involving him taking multiple daily pills. Meanwhile, Billie Jean works her most demanding to prepare, but the pressure on her to win puts great stress on her, and she comes down with a flu. Gladys tells her to take some time off but to be fully prepared when the match comes. Bobby makes amends with Priscilla over his gambling habit. However, she still needs to be more pleased with his talk about men being superior to women, and his constant comments that women belong in the kitchen. The day of the match comes. Bobby wears a gaudy sugar daddy jacket and presents Billie Jean with a giant lollipop. Billie Jean gives Bobby a piglet. All of Billie Jean's friends, as are Larry and Marilyn are in attendance, while Bobby's family watches at home, as does Jack. The match begins. Bobby appears to lead initially, but Billie Jean returns strong by winning more games. Bobby's hand cramps up, forcing him to remove his jacket when he gets too hot. After a long game, Billie Jean emerges as the champion. Bobby shakes Billie Jean's hand, and she goes to get her trophy. Billie Jean is in the locker room crying tears of joy. She heads out to face the press. Her stylist Ted hugs her. Knowing what she's gone through, he tells Billie Jean that someday they will be free to love who they want, but she can enjoy her victory for now. Billie Jean walks out to a cheering crowd. The final text states that Billie Jean King eventually divorced Larry King and found her true love, Ilana Kloss. Larry remarried, with Billie Jean and Ilana becoming godparents to his children. Bobby and Priscilla Riggs remained happily married for the rest of their lives, and he never gave up gambling. 
Billie Jean became an advocate for LGBTQ rights, and was inducted into the Tennis Hall of Fame in 2011. We also see some pictures of the honest Billie Jean and Bobby during the events leading up to the match, with the last shot being the two of them smiling.